All ahead, Clank. Inquire of the engineer about the possibility of going to 105% of the reactor. Seven hours. The entire fleet is after him. Leveling at 900 meters. Captain, engineer reports 105% on the reactor possible, but not recommended. My wife said to wait him. Where did this man learn to cook? Afghanistan? So then we went on to the Bolshoi ballet. See this new girl, is Giselle. Well, you remember how beautiful she was. Well, she just married a, a factory manager. Excuse me, doctor. Do you have the figures for the latest batch of radiation tests? No. No. Perhaps you could bring the proceeding set as well. For comparison. Thank you, Doctor. Take him some time. Before we begin, Captain, I'd like to know exactly what happened to Putin. He didn't sleep on his tea, did he? I don't think I liked your tone, Slavin. What the hell's my tone got to do with it? We're risking our lives here. Look, Putin could have caused complications. What did you think? He'd just go and sulk while we carried out our plans? Is that what you thought? Are you saying he was murdered? My God. Stop whining, Yuri. But murder, how, how can so you So he was murdered. I have no problem with that. The man was a pig. But it's a decision we should have all made together. You are not in command here. If the crew finds out, we could have a mutiny. What do you help talk about? Nonsense. They could kill us all. That's right. Yuri. Everything that happens on this ship affects us all. The master of arms is already all right. I just don't go back. You know. All we have to say is all going history. back. Before we sailed, I dispatched a letter to Admiral Bedora, in which I announced our intention to defect. In the name of God, why? When he reached the New World, Cortez burned his ships. As a result, his men were well motivated. You have signed our death warrants. Bedora will send the entire fleet. Jesus, they'll find us. They'll find us and hunt Nobody's us going to find us. That's enough, Yuri. You have to do it, huh? You couldn't just turn the submarine over to the Americans. You had to make a political statement. Or was it something deeper, Captain? Something that made you unable to simply slip away? Was it ego, Captain? We each have our reasons, Victor. My own began the day I was handed the blueprints for this ship. A ship which had but one use. And as for the rest, well, those are things that I alone must carry the burden for. Anatoly, you're afraid of our fleet. Hmm? Well, you should be. Personally, I give us one chance in three. More tea, anyway. No. Then 
you may report back to your post. You heard the captain dismissed. Captain, I would never disagree with you in front of the man, you know that. But in this case, Victor is right. It would have been better if you had not informed Moscow. Oh, I see. Moscow is not to worry. Not the whole Soviet Navy. I know their tactics. I have the advantage. No. The worry is the Americans. We meet the right sort. This will work. We get some buckaroo. I apologize for the uniform, sir. This is Admiral Greer's idea of a low profile. You work for Jim Greer? That's right, sir. And I imagine you'll tell me what all the hubbub's about. Captain, you got a minute? Jonesy has got something I think you ought to see. Martinez, get yourself a cup of coffee and have him some answer, too. Hi, Captain. Best to get a cat and cup of tea. Sir, the moment that sub went silent and I thought I heard some singing, I heard something in the background, real faint. And then, after all those subs took off, I caught it again and I managed to get it on tape. I washed it through the computer a few times and I was able to isolate this sound. When I asked the computer to identify it, what I got was magma displacement. See, sir, the SAP's software was originally written to look for seismic events. And I think when it gets confused, it kind of runs home to Momo. <laughs> I'm not following you, Jonesy. Sir, I'm sorry. L listen to it at ten times speed. Now that's got to be man-made, Captain. All right. The first contact was at 0915. The bearing was 269. Mm -hmm. At 0930, it was here. Yeah. I came back to it at 11 and 11.15, here and here. Mm -hmm. Sir, remember the dispatch we got about Russian subskippers running the Vulcanus Ridge at high speeds because they had hyper-accurate surveys of the underwater canyons? Yeah, yeah, Red Book 1. And the front door to those canyons was a formation called Thor's Twins, right? Yeah. Well, look. magma displacement was actually some new Russian sub and it's headed for the Iceland coast. 
Have I got this straight, Chauncey? Forty million dollar computer tells you you're chasing an earthquake. But you don't believe it. And you come up with this on your own. Yes, sir. Including all the navigation. Yes, I've got all the relax, Jonesy. You sold me. Tommy, I want you to plot us a speed course for the bottom end of Red Route 1. We'll never find him in those canyons. First, take us to Periscope Depth. This we've got a phone in. Aye, aye, Cap. Hang on, Jonesy. If I can get you close enough, can you track this sucker? Yes, sir. Now that I know what to listen for, I'm begging. Carry on. Yes, sir. Christ, that's the craziest notion I've ever heard. A serving line officer, an entire ballistic missile submarine, Hell, they can't all want to perfect. Even if it's only the officers, I find it extremely difficult to believe. What's his plan? His plan? Russians don't take a dump sign without a plan. And senior captains don't start something this dangerous without having thought the matter through. What's he going to do? Sail into New York, pop the hatch, and say, here I am? It might be just that simple, yes. Well, things may appear that simple in a cubicle at CIA. But in the middle of the North Atlantic, with a million tons of Soviet warships bearing down on us, they get a bit more complex. Well, no, thank you. And I don't think your notion of a few days' inspection is going to wash either. In order to be of any value, you'd have to tear it apart. That'll urge you along take a couple of months. We'd have to keep it. What are you going to do with the crew? The ones that don't defect are going to go back and say, we got the boat. Or do you plan to eliminate them? We're not at war, sir. So the only way for this thing to work is for you to get them off the boat in such a way that they think we don't have it. And they'll go back and report we don't have it to their bosses. Otherwise, this whole business is just academic, right? Yes, sir. I, I think I see your point. When's the last time you slept? A while. Chief outside will fix you up. Thank you, sir. Captain. It'll be dawn in a couple of hours. We'll be in the CIC. Things live will get a little dicey around here. Yes, sir. You think he's crazy? Certifiable. And no matter what his credentials, I don't care for him wearing the uniform. Do you see that ring on his finger? The Academy, class of 72, a Marine. You're kidding. How did you... Greer told me. Some of his third year, he went down in a chopper accident in the med. Bad. Pilot crew killed. That kid spent ten months in traction and another year learning to walk again. Did his fourth year from the hospital... That's up to you, Charlie, but you might consider cutting the kid a little slack. Ah, Russian's going to find that sub before we get near it anyway. Passing Thor's twins, sir. Very good. Passing the twins now, Captain. Very good. You may commence your run. Call me when you get to the first turning. Aye, Captain. Mr. Kamarov. You may commence your run now. Aye, sir. First leg on my mark. Course 260. Speed 18 knots. Depth 270 meters. Five, four, three, two, one, mark. Diving command, course 260. Course 260, Speed 18 knots. 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 Speed 18 knots
Give me a stopwatch and a map, and I'll fly the Alps in a plane with no windows. Map is accurate enough. Approaching first turn. Come left to post one, nine, five. In 30 seconds, decrease depth to 200 meters. Maintain speed. I got navigator. Captain, we are approaching the first turn. 25 seconds to course one. Increase nine, speed five. to 26 knots and recompute. Navigator, recompute for 26 knots. Turn on my mark. Five, four, three, two, one. Mark. Diving control. Come left to 195. Come left to 195. Up on the bow lines. 195. <laughs> Nine five and maintaining speed twenty six knots. Mr. Camero, thanks, Lady Captain. Camero, of course, two four zero. I'm now at eight minutes and forty seconds. Very good. Maintain course and speed. seconds to turn, Captain. Should we decrease speed? Negative. Because they have to come right. Right, sir. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, mark. Fifteen degrees down angle on the bow planes. Come right, two, four, zero. Move it! Next leg, 34 minutes to the Neptune Massif. Course I don't know yet, damn it. How long will it take to fix? I gotta find out what's wrong first. There'll be a problem with the liquid helium or maybe the superconductors. Captain, we will have to stop until we can make repairs to the Caterpillar unit. Negative. We'll run on normal propulsion. Captain, we will not be silent. Make revolutions for 20 knots and engage the propellers. Captain. Come engine start up. Come in, get us all killed. Captain knows what he's doing. Doctor. Naval activity. <laughs> I have no knowledge of this. But then, of course, I never was a sailor. Mr. Ambassador. You have nearly a hundred naval vessels operating in the North Atlantic right now. Your aircraft has dropped enough sonar buoys so that a man could walk from Greenland to Iceland to Scotland without getting his feet wet. Now, shall we dispense with the bull? You make your point as delicately as ever, Mr. Pelt. 
but the sea has... And what looks like an exercise could be a prelude to war. How can we tell the difference? Prudence demands that we deploy our ships to observe yours. It would be well for your government to consider that, having your ships and ours, your aircraft and ours, in such proximity is inherently dangerous. Wars have begun that way, Mr. Ambassador. We've lost one of our submarines. Lost it? We fear she may be down, and um, well, this is most embarrassing, but um, several of the crew of the officers are sons of high party officials. One is even the son of a Central Committee member. I, I cannot say which, of course. You're telling me that this is a massive rescue operation? That is correct. I am terribly sorry. How can we help? Well, I'm not sure that... Uh... Perhaps a joint rescue mission? That is very gracious of you, sir. I will pass your offer on. But at this time, I think we're doing everything that can be done. strategy depends on your answer. The entire fleet will know where we are. Captain Sonar, we've just been overflown by a low-altitude multi-engine turboprop. Put it on audio. Short transients close aboard. Water entry of small objects. Sonar, boys. Battle stations. Battle stations! Battle stations! Battle stations! How long to Neptune Massive? How long? Four minutes, ten seconds. Shall we bottom the boat, Captain? No, too late for that. No. We run out of time. Countermeasures, prepare to launch a full spread. Aye, sir. permission to launch the weapon. You are authorized to launch the weapon. The weapon is away. Five pits crew. Torpedo in the water. Stand by. Torpedo is active. Torpedo has acquired. Launch countermeasures. Launch countermeasures, aye, sir. We're in the lane. How long to the turn of the matter? Two minutes, nine seconds. We have no room to maneuver in this canyons, Captain. If the countermeasure doesn't oh. shut up. Torpedo has reached countermeasures. Torpedo has lost contact. Massive approaching. Torpedo has reacquired. Torpedo has reacquired and is homing. Give me the count. Seventh massive, 40 degrees starboard in 30 seconds. Time to torpedo impact. Torpedo impact, 35 seconds. Increase the flank. Full ahead flank. Full ahead flank. Full ahead flank, guys. Torpedo impact now, 40 seconds. 35 seconds. Thirty seconds. Turn it massive in seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Mark. Torpedo impact. Twenty-five seconds. The turn, Captain. Not sure. Mark plus eight seconds. Plus nine. Plus ten seconds. Plus eleven. Plus twelve. Plus 13 seconds, plus 14, plus 15 seconds, 
Captain. If we're out of position by so much as a boat lane. Torpedo impact now, 15 seconds. Sound collision. Sound collision. Captain, we're out of the way. You're relieved. Boarding. Right full rudder. Reverse starboard engine. Right full rudder. Hold back right starboard, sir. Hold back starboard, sir. Hold back starboard, sir. shooting at us. We'd be dead by now. It was some line. Yeah. I found out what happened to the caterpillar. The puffer circuit has been torn out. It was only a matter of time before an overload shut down the whole caterpillar. What are you saying? Whoever did this knew how to cripple a caterpillar in a way not easy to find. Captain, we have a saboteur on board. There can't be any of the officers. We had all the time in the world before we put to sea. Must be a member of the crew. Go below, put in cab, check his files for information on the crew. We have to put them off before we plant. The average risky son don't take a dump without a plan. Now, wait a minute. We don't have to figure out how to get the crew off the sub. He's already done that. He would have had to. All we have to do is figure out what he's going to do. So how is he going to get the crew off the sub? They'd have to want to get off. How do you get a crew to want to get off a submarine? How do you get a crew to want to get off a nuclear sub? I know how he's going to get the crew off the sub, Admiral. Not now, no, Jeff. Yankee 1 Starbase, Yankee 1 Starbase. Say again, status over. Yankee 1 Starbase, declare an emergency. Over. Yankee 1 requesting that. Yankee 1, vector 270. Speed is buster. Over. Yankee 1, do the ambulance pressure. Say again, Yankee 1. Say again. Bear Fox truck got too close to the group. One of the F-14s tried to crowd him off course and they bumped. He's got stabilator damage and he's losing hydraulic fluid. They're trying to get him back aboard now. Busy morning. Hmm. During the night, a line of Russian attack subs have taken up station off every East Coast port. And we're up here, here. The New Jersey and her group are moving up the coast, while the Russians, aside from maybe a hundred more bare fox spots, have a row of attack subs, followed by several surface groups. That's an awful lot of firepower. For a rescue team, yes. There's something else strange. They're banging away with their active sonar as if they're looking for something, but nobody's listening. What do you mean? Well, they're moving me close to 30 knots. At that speed, they could run over my daughter's stereo and not hear it. They're not trying to find me. They're just trying to drive him. Drive him where? The hounds to the hunters. Your sub-captain's going to make it to America, all right, Mr. Ryan. He's going to die within sight of it. His wingman kept requesting permission to fire. If anybody messes up in a situation like this, we're going to be in the biggest naval battle since the juggle. Jesus. The water's too cold to eject. Air boss is going to try to bring him aboard. Excuse me, sir. What's this sub off by yourself? It's Bart Mancuso's boat. He's going to the bottom of Red Route 1. He's had an intermittent contact with what his computer calls a magma displacement. He's got this crazy magma idea. Magma displacement? Is that like a seismic anomaly? 
I suppose so. Why? Admiral, is there a way you could get me on board the Dallas? What the hell for? I think that Captain Mancuso has found the Red October. He hasn't found anything, Jack. He's just waiting. He's not even sure what he's heard. Excuse me, sir, but this silent propulsion system could easily be mistaken. Jack, the only way to get you onto Dallas is to fly you out to Chopper. The only way we can get you that far north is to strip it down and turn it into a fine gas can. Excuse me, Admiral. Yankee 1 is on final. Rescue personnel are in place. Pick up your left wing. You're drifting left. Power. Power. Wave off. Wave off. Eject. 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 Business will get out of control. It will get out of control and we'll be lucky to live through it. The bird floated down with enough fuel to get to there, but Dallas may not be there. We're trying to get a message to her, but if she's gone deep, it's done. If you have to dance. Sonar, I hold no contacts on bearing 295. You know, I've seen me a mermaid once. I even seen me a shark eat an octopus. But I ain't never seen no phantom Russian submarine. <laughs> Caterpillar is operational and appears to be running normally. The crew know about the saboteur. They are afraid. Well, that could be useful when the time comes. You know, we could make the Labrador coast in 16 hours. Half of them would freeze before they were rescued. No, it's Massachusetts. Or main. Forty-eight hours. Two days. Do you think they will let me live in Montana? Uh, I would think they'll let you live wherever you want. I will live in Montana. And I will marry a round American woman and raise rabbits. And she will cook them for me. And I will have a pickup truck. Or um, possibly even a recreational vehicle. 
and drive from state to state. Do they let you do that? Yes. No papers? No papers. State to state. All right, commence your turn. Well then, in winter I will live in Arizona. Actually, I think I will need two wives. Well, at least. <laughs> possible aspect change on target. Sonar Khan, I concur a possible target zig based on bearing rate. Come on, Sonar, crazy Ivan. All stop, quick quiet. All stop, all right. Answers all stop. What's going on, Jonesy? Russian captains sometimes turn suddenly to see if anyone's behind them. We call it Crazy Ivan. The only thing you can do is go dead, shut everything down, and make like a hole in the water. So what's a catch? Catch is a boat this big doesn't exactly stop on a dime. And if we're too close, we'll drift right to the back of it. What about you? What do you look forward to? Post guards in the engineering spaces. If he can get to the caterpillar, he can get to somewhere more vital. Khan Sona, target is now coming out of our starboard baffles. My read is that he's returning to base course. Concur, he's returning to course 210. Right around us. Mm, give him another 30 seconds. Then secure from silent right? Captain. Yeah. First we got an ELS. Thanks. Hi, sir. What is it? You can believe this. Let's hope this thing runs on fumes. 
Surf ship, I, sir. Chief the water. Whoever this the guy is, he's in for one hell of a ride. You ever do this before? Once. On a calm day. Across the water. Yeah, there was no reference point. The pilot would have a hell of a time keeping him steady. Don't take chances getting grounded. Keep that rod in front of you. Air like this, the rotors will be putting down enough static electricity to light up Chicago. I joined the Navy. I got a diver in the escape trunk in case this guy goes in the drink. We may need him. Somebody must really have a fur up his ass to go for stuff like this. subject it seems that the initial reports that one of our submarines was missing were not completely accurate the submarine in question is commanded by captain marco remius apparently he has suffered a kind of mental or nervous breakdown just before he sailed he posted a letter to admiral yuri Padorin in which he announced his intention to to fire his missiles on the United States. Why didn't you tell me this the last time I met? In my position, I'm sometimes compromised by the fact that Moscow does not always tell me everything. So one of your submarine captains has gone insane? What do you want from us? You offered your assistance. Now that was a rescue mission. Now you want us to help you hunt him down and kill him. I have been instructed to ask your president for precisely that. Find him. We already found him. We had to break off to come pick you up. Yeah, excuse me. Coffee. Thank you. Cigarette? Don't smoke. Assuming we can find him, just what exactly am I supposed to do about it? Captain, radio. We're receiving flash traffic on the VLF emergency circuit. Very well. Bring it down. Well, Mr. Ryan? Chief, excuse us for a second. Leonard, come on out of there. The sub we're after is called the Red October. She 
was under the command of a man named Ramius. Now there's the possibility that he and a good portion of his crew are attempting to defect. Defect? Excuse me. Say the boat's called the Red October. That's right. Skipper's Ramius. Right. It seems the circumstances have changed somewhat, Mr. Ryan. Get this man some dry clothes. I'll be in the car. Right, Skipper. Okay. National Command Authority informs Soviet Typhoon Class submarine Red October on the command of Marco Ramius as potential renegade and threatens independent missile. You are authorized to use any necessary force to prevent such summary from approaching the coast of the United States. Chief of the Watch, Rick Perez. That's the Delta Red. I'm Quartermaster's navigator at the deck in the con. Heavy ass deck in the con. What's going on? Battle stations are manned and ready. Very well. Captain, I have to talk to you. No, no. Tommy, make your depth 1,200 feet, 20 degrees down angle. All right, Captain. Diving officer, make your depth 1,200 feet, 20 degree down. Make my depth 1,200 feet, 20 degree down. All right. Full dive on the Fairwater planes. Full dive on the Fairwater planes. Full dive on the Fairwater planes. All right. 20 degree down. 20 degree down. Pass 450 feet. Going to 1,200. 500. Yes, sir. Contact Typhoon 7 on bearing 250, right where he's supposed to be. Any signs alert to our presence? No, sir. Operating as before. Come left 265. Bring us up behind him quietly, Tommy. Aye, aye, Captain. Typhoon officer, make your depth 500 feet. Yes, sir. Contact Typhoon 7 on bearing 250. Captain, please listen to me. Two minutes, that's all. Plot, time to intercept this track. Four minutes, Captain. Very well, Mr. Ryan. Two minutes. I understand that message. It makes perfect sense. Look at the situation. Ramius intends to defect. The Russians know this, which is why they've been trying to sink him for the past two days, but they haven't been able to. So the Captain, trying... I have a firing solution. Very well. Captain, you have to listen to me. The Russians will stop at nothing to prevent Ramius from defecting. They are desperate. They've invented this story that he's crazy because they need our help to sink him before he can safely contact us. Weapons control. I want full safeties. We're so close. I want those fish coming back at us. Full safety, aye, sir. Captain, I know this man. Has he made any crazy Ivans? What difference does that make? Because the next one will be to starboard. Why, because his last was to port? No, because he always goes to starboard in the bottom half of the hour. Flood tubes one and two assigned presets. Warm up the weapons. Captain, there has to be some way you can establish contact without violating yours. I'm telling you, he wants to defect. Mr. Thompson, call Chief Watson to the con with his sidearm. Thompson, our signal to noise ratio is dropping. Possible aspect change in target. Concur possible target state based on bearing rate. Thompson, our crazy Ivan. He's turning. 
Which way is he turning, Jones? To the starboard, sir. Give the man a chance. All back full. Say again? I said all back full. That's full, I sir. It's back full. Captain, we're cavitating. You can hear us. Come on, I. All stop. Stop, I. All right, Ryan. We just unzipped our fly. Mr. Thompson, open the outer doors. Firing point procedures. Now, if that bastard so much as twitches, I'm going to blow him right to Mars. All stop, brother amidships. All stop, brother amidships. Hold on. Can you identify the contact? American Los Angeles class attack submarine bearing 015. Captain Shaw, Hotel Transits. You may be trying to open this torpedo tube doors. Outer doors are open on tubes one and two. We're ready to shoot. Very well. My orders are specific, Mr. Ryan. Captain, he has opened his outer doors and is preparing to fire. Flood tubes three and four and plot a solution. Hi, Captain. Flood tubes three and four, plot solution. Flood three and four. Shall I open the torpedo tube doors, sir? Captain, shall I open outer doors? No. Lock the firing solution into the computer. Do not open the doors. Hi, Captain. Lock solution into computer. Console, our target's flooded his tube. As he opened his outer doors. Negative, Captain. He's just sitting there. Hold on. Hold popping. Target's coming shallow. What's that mean? It means he's a very cool customer in Russia. He knows we're here. We're ready to shoot. He's not going to provoke us. He's heading to periscope depth to see what's on the surface. What's his course now? Course is 270, Captain. Due west. Bring us alongside him. Aye, aye, Captain. Camel head one-third. Sonar con, report all contacts. Con sonar, my only contact is Typhoon 7 bearing 195. Very well. Fire control, range to target. Range is 300 yards. Make your depth 65 feet. Diamond officer, make your depth 65 feet. He wants to go up and take a peek. We'll play along. Are armed. Tubes three and four are flooded, but outer doors are closed. Mark this bearing. You wanted to talk to him, Mr. Ryan. There he is. What do you want to say? Will he be the only one looking through the periscope? Probably. I'll have a chance then. U.S. told you intend a missile launch. Break. Do not approach U.S. coast or you will be attacked. Break. If intention is other, will you discuss option? Break. Can he acknowledge with a single ping? Yeah, he can. The question is, will he? Verify our range to target. One ping only. I kept. Oh, damn. Now what? All right. If defection. Just 
send it. Tell me one thing. You know he was going to go to starboard. I didn't. I had a 50-50 chance and I needed a break. Sorry. Oh, that's all right, Mr. Ryan. My morse is so rusty, I may be sending dimensions on Playmate of the Month. Just give me a ping, Vasily. One ping only, please. I got. What the hell is this about? The Russians want us to sink her. I might have to do that. This American the white butt. Let us turn south. Mr. Kamarov. Got a new course due south. Sir? New course 180. Alarms activating in all compartments. Engineering is heavily contaminated and radiation is moving forward. Get us to periscope depth. We'll ventilate the outside air. Hi, Captain. Periscope depth. Prepare to ventilate. Ventilate? He won't do anything. We gotta get the men. What is the battery condition? Four hours. Six if we're cautious. Engage battery system. Captain, we've got a level one radiation leak. Every surface of the ship is contaminated. Simply changing the air won't do. We've got to get the men off. Sir. We have been sabotaged. Who said anything about sabotage? Captain! Sir, I'm afraid the doctor is right. Very well. Surface, we'll evacuate the man to the deck. Hi, Captain. Service the ship. Service the ship, aye. Prepare the master all personnel to escape hatches. Break up the rafts. Lash them to the deck. We'll use them as shelters until the fleet arrives. Navigator!
count is accurate, Doctor. You must get the entire crew out. Yes, sir. Master Adams reports route secure and evacuation proceeding. Very good. We will take through the car. No officer will spend more than 20 minutes below deck. Will that be satisfactory? Completely cut. Perfect contact! 270, six miles and closing fast. It's a warship. What, here? Can you identify? It's a frigate, US probably Perry class. She's signaling. Red October, Red October. Halton, stay where you are. Do not attempt to submerge or you will be fired upon. Captain, I think he means to board us. You will go with the crew. The officers and I will submerge beneath you and scuttle the ship. You will see the order of the name of this country. Shot across his bow. Come right to 1, release on my command. Drop. Now. 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 Range to target. 900 yards. 800 yards. 700 yards. 600 yards. 500 yards, 400 yards, 300 yards, torpedo is dead yet. No, understand commander, that torpedo did not self-destruct, you heard it hit the hull, and I was never here, contact Dallas, give him the go. Advise Dallas. Get the DSRV moving. Dallas, this is Reuben James. About two million things that can still go wrong with this stunt. Central Intelligence Agency. There's a contradiction in terms. How's the coffee, Ryan? Dallas, this is the Mystic. Request clearance for launch. Mystic, Dallas, you're clear for launch. Hatch is secured. Flight support normal. Pre-launch checks complete. We're ready to launch. Aye. Flood the skirt. Flood the skirt, aye. Skirt's filled and equalized. Soft seal. Ready to lift off. Okay. Let's do it. We're off. Thrusting port. Six hundred yards in closing. Roger, still right to course zero seven five. Four hundred. Two 
200 yards. 100 yards. Hit the lines. Смотри, позеленеет чуток. знать, что думает противник. Не правда ли? I doubt you'd remember, but we met once at the consulate in Leningrad, along with your wife. I'm very sorry. What gives you the right to fire on my ship? Your signal said nothing of a torpedo. Ryan. It was necessary to maintain the illusion for your crew. My crew are being rescued, yes? 
as we speak. You sent the signal. That's correct, sir. Then how did you know our reactor accident was false? Well, that was a guess, but it seemed logical. Very well. I present you the ballistic missile submarine Red October. My officers and I request asylum in the United States of America. It's a pleasure, sir. Bart Mancuso, USS Dallas. The Americans are shooting at us again. Pitch is too high. The torpedoes rush. What do you mean another torpedo? Where the hell did it come from? Con sonar, new contact, Sierra 41, upper class Soviet submarine. So now why don't I have a detonation? The weapon enabled on the far side of the target. It's past Red October before it arms. We had the wrong range. Fire came with the right settings. And reload both tubes. Melican, get me power. Get that damn thing off my boat. It's off! Hey, I think somebody just shot a torpedo at us. Oh, shit, fuck, we get the hell out of here. Wait, where am I going? Capitan Bayou. Capitan Bayou. Capitan Bayou. Morgan, fire control. You, uh, Ryan, sit here. I'm not a naval officer. I'm with the CIA. CIA? Well, I, I'm not an agent. I just write books for the CIA. Oh, whatever. Sit down. You do exactly what I tell you. The SRV's away. There's a Russian Alpha about 8,000 yards to starboard. Captain, I think it's a Konevalov. Increase the flank. Increase the flank. How? That knob. Turn right. All ahead, flank, right full rudder. He's shooting again, sir. Go to battle stations. Battle stations. Five fifth crew, torpedo in the water. Bearing 315. Make range 7,000 yards. Stay right, 315. Wait a minute, that's heading into the torpedo. Steady bearing, still 315. Estimate range 6,000 yards. Still 315. Clear right to this reach, 315. No, that's wrong. Ryan, don't turn that goddamn wheel. 315. You're heading straight into that torpedo. Yes. Doing what? It's turned right into the torpedo's path. What? Red October's turned directly into the torpedo's path, sir. Mother of God. Torpedo steady bearing 315. Range 5,000 yards. Melican, more speed. Negative. We're already running 110%. And give me 115%. Estimate range 3,000 yards. Closing awfully fast. He's headed right into the torpedo. What's he trying to do? Kill himself? Dobson, we have a firing solution on the Russian Alpha. Can we shoot back? They didn't shoot at us. I can't attack a Soviet submarine without authorization. <laughs> torpedo bearing steady at 315. Best range, 900 yards. Torpedo impact, 20 seconds. What books? Pardon me. What books did you write? I wrote a biography of Admiral Halsey called The Fighting Sailor about uh, naval combat tactics. Oh, I know this book. Torpedo impact. Your conclusions were all wrong, Brian. Ten seconds. Halsey acted stupidly. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Torpedo impact.
What happened? Combat tactics, Mr. Ryan. By turning into this torpedo, the captain closed the distance before it could arm itself. So that's it? Uh, not quite. Right now, Captain Tupolov is removing the safety features on all his weapons. He won't make the same mistake twice. Vasily, have you plotted the solution yet? Well, it's a little rough, but I... What it sounded like, sir. Won't change his mind, huh, Ryan? It's gotta be one of the crew. Well, whoever he is, I'd say he's having second thoughts. into the missile bay. We're showing a silo hatch warning. Port side, number 20. He can't launch a missile. No, but he can blow one up. Captain, take the con. The fire control's blasted to hell. Then get in behind him and stay there. Captain, wait. You may need this, sir. Don't just stand there, Ryan. Go with him. You, you speak English? Yes, sir. Get your butt over here. Jonesy, Captain, torpedo broke up on impact. God damn it. I want the safety range it's set for zero now. Captain, I cannot go any faster. We must get him before he gets to the ignition circuits. What happens if he makes it to that ignition circuitry? He can incinerate the ship. Door the only way out of here? Yes. Well, let me get past you. Hey, okay, Be careful what you shoot at. Huh? Most things in here don't react too well to bullets. Right. set to zero. About well, bloody time. Son, I gave me the bay to Red October. She's taking position behind us. Right full rudder. Right full rudder. I'll chase the man loose. He's going deep. 30 degree down angle. 5,000 kilos. Pop All down. the countermeasures were over there, right? Dive. Very well. Just too quick. It's only a matter of time now, sir. Ryan, some things in here don't react well to bullets. Yeah, like me. I react well to bullets. Shoot now! 
Another torpedo, Captain. It went active the moment it was launched. It's acquired us and it's homing. Left full rudder. He's off in your bow plane. Yes, sir. I think he's got us. Position. Range 500 yards and closing. You've done it, Mr. Thompson. To Christ, this works. All right, Chief. Put us on the roof. Down major station. On my mark. Five. Four. One. Release countermeasures. Emergency flow. Full rise. Fair water plane. Come on, Big D. That torpedo's still active. It's searching for another target now. Is that Alpha, Jonesy? Thousand yards, dead astern, going to port. Reverse your turn. Aye, sir. We're turning straight at him. Torpedoes still on our tail. The hard part about playing chicken is knowing when to flinch. Collision in 400 yards, 350, 300, half in. Right full rudder, 30 degree down. Aye, sir. This one's gonna be close. Torpedo, get ahead! You arrogant ass. You've killed us. position, but given the depth of the water and the fact that the wreckage is spread out over such a wide area, it'll be some time before anything is recovered. However, your people are interviewing the crew now and making arrangements for their return. This has been a terrible tragedy, Mr. Ambassador, and I can only stress that if you come to us earlier, it might have been avoided. I appreciate your candor in the matter. And I yours, Andre. Perhaps in the future the technology will be available for a more thorough investigation of the wreckage. Perhaps. There is another matter. One that I'm reluctant to. One of our submarines, an Alpha, was last reported in the area of the Grand Banks. We've not heard from her for some time. Andre, you've lost another submarine?
all this way to hide a submarine in a river. We're 100 miles from the nearest naval base, the last place that satellites will ever look. I grew up around here. My grandfather took me to fish off that island right over there. There is one question you haven't asked me yet. Why? Well, I figured you would tell me when you were ready. Now, there are those who believe we should attack the United States first, settle everything in one moment. Red October was built for that purpose. When the dust settles from this, there's going to be hell to pay in Moscow. Well, perhaps maybe some good will come from it. A little revolution now and then is a healthy thing, don't you think? Do you still like to fish, Ryan? There's a river, not unlike this one, near Vilnius, where my grandfather taught me to fish. And the sea will grant each man new hope. The sleep brings dreams. Christopher Columbus. Welcome to the new world, sir.